GGG, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingface.com. We live right now. So, basically, what I want to talk to you guys about is Atom. So, there's this new uh, features that Atom came out with. So, let's go to ID Atom.io. Right? So, pretty much, it's, it's called Atom ID. Um, as you may know, Adam is a text editor, um, and now pretty much is bringing in a couple of things to basically show you guys. It's like it's pretty legit, right? Just makes your life easier. All right, so let's see. Let's look into this. I haven't installed it yet. I just uh, I read an article on it. They just released it, I think, yesterday or the day before yesterday. So basically, install the Atom ID dash UI. So let's do that. Uh, preferences. Okay. Cool. So let's do this. Let's install this. You know, Facebook and Adam got together. They had this baby. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Anything that Facebook does is, is legit. Uh, like, I really love Facebook, especially after creating React. Like, you can't go wrong after that. You know what I mean? But, yeah. So, let's see. Oh, man. Still installing. Let's see what else we got to install. So, I deal with PHP, but I don't know if I have the PHP runtime running on my computer. I probably do, but for now, all, all I'm going to install is this. ID TypeScript. Okay, so that says you both linter. Which will both display links. Okay, this I will enter. All right. Now, let me see the settings. What type of settings they have? Okay, hyperclick, outline, diagnostics, code, formatting. Uh, let's see what else. Mm, okay. Got a couple of things. All right. So let me see. Let me check this out. What else we got to do here? This one ID TypeScript. This, you know, just for JavaScript. It doesn't really matter if it's uh, if you're using TypeScript or not. It's mostly for, for JavaScript. So let's see. I, I just want to try it out. <laughs> I've been using Adam for a while. It's my favorite text editor. There's like so many good packages here. People tell me that, oh, you should try VS Code. You should try Sublime, whatever. Guys, listen, I don't know. People saying, oh, that Adam is slow. Listen, guys, I'm being honest. Like, if you have a good computer, I'm sorry. I don't know what, what the hell you guys are running. If you're w working with Windows XP, then that's on you. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm working on, on top of the line computer. So, you know what I mean? So, I'm good. Adam runs amazing for me. So, let me see. Okay, so we got this in. Let me see. I think it's option. Option O. No, let me see. No, it's not that. Control all. Alt up. Okay, there you go. All right, cool. So pretty much all it has is a couple of new features. You know, um, I don't know exactly all the features that it has, but let me see. Uh. Let me see what what exactly it has. It has auto completion, uh, code navigation features such as outline view, go to, find all references, as well hover to review information, diagnostics, errors and warnings, and document formatting. That's pretty cool. All right. So it's just I guess it's like a a quick little update. It's nothing dramatic. It's not gonna be like oh my god, it's a brand new brand new software. But it brings in a couple of new things. So it's like if I wanted to go to filter for the class, or like let's say I wanted to go to render, 
it'll take me directly to there so I could just do it right here through the outline and I don't have to spend too much time searching for things so that's cool that's definitely cool I'm pretty sure with TypeScript it has a whole bunch of different um, this different new new things to it so you know that's that's cool all right let me see component header I think this is cool is, is it amazing nah but <laughs> it's fine so it's like you hover on top of it gives you some info uh, let's see what else you know it's pretty cool I like it definitely I can see myself using this for sure my my favorite thing is definitely the outline because you know how many times I've been like man I need to use this thing like I'm trying to find a class or a function so now everything is here and it's telling you like okay so there's a loop listing and then here it tells you there's a variable now this is render another method inside of this class uh, it shows you the component what's the variable there's another one so it's pretty cool of course once I get used to it I'll show you guys everything that it has right now I just wanted to record this little video of me basically installing it the first time so it's pretty cool I, I like it alright so I'll see you guys later I love you guys uh, check out the website codingface.com right now I'm basically working on the react course like we're pretty far right now so let's say we come here right click npm run watch so this is what we're working on right now this is the real estate app that I've been telling you guys the stylings are not 100% there but that's because I'm gonna leave that for the end right now like we built all of this stuff build the components uh, we got the header done uh, we got the footer done the pagination so now all I really want to focus on is the JavaScript and basically start uh, filtering out the apartments depending on whatever filters we put through here so that's what we're working on next all right guys so i'll see you guys later uh come to my website codingface.com trust me it's legit we're killing the game right now all right love you guys bye